Hey friends, welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Miss Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. Children, in today's story, which is called Troy, it's about a teddy. So, Cordroy is in a shop and Cordroy is left alone inside a shop. Now what happens to Cordroy? He is finding it very very difficult to be alone inside. But then something happens. Somebody comes and Cordroy is then so happy. What is that one thing that happens? Don't you want to know? Well, we all want to know and for that we are going to read the story Cordroy. Let's read the story children. Cordroy by Dawn Freeman Cordroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day he waited all the other animals and dolls for everybody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Cordroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I have always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much already. Besides, he does, doesn't look new. He has lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Cordroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I had lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Cordroy climbed carefully down his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain? he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the elevator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Cordroy gasped. I guess I have always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I have always wanted to sleep in a bed and up he crawled onto a large thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop off came the button and off the mattress, Cordroy toppled. Bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it all fell with a crash. Cordroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under the, under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. There he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Cordroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and sat him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. 
Conroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I have saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh no, thank you, Lisa answered. And she carried Cordroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Cordroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I have always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and gave him a big hug. The End So the exciting part in Courtroy's life is that somebody actually comes to pick him up and take him away. A girl who loves Courtroy, who loves the teddy and she is so happy to look at him feel him and she takes him back home and then when Cordra asked him that ask her that are you going to be my friend she said yes we are going to be friends forever lovely so nice isn't it children i'm sure you also find a lot of friends in your life you have some very good friends best friends and they remain with you forever Yes, great children. Nice story, cute little story of a teddy bear. We'll come back with more stories. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye-bye. See you soon.